What is up everybody, this is Verdict and thank you so much for stopping by. Now today I'm bringing you the long-awaited video uh, of you guys, of me of course, covering the Mystic Changes. It's one of the most popular Mystic channels over the Black Desert section, it really bears responsibility on me. And sorry for being late with this, I was on a vacation in Sweden, so last day on vacation you guys like blew my feed up. Mystic got changes, Mystic got changes, and right now I'm finally able to cover them, but before we start I really hope that I earn your subscription by the end of this video. It's my pride and joy to have you guys here and most importantly i just hope to see you again and with that said over here onto the top we have anders's page that he made basically just calculating all of the mystic buffs and they're very very good but let's first and foremost talk about why did awakening mystic get buffed because you guys really need to understand what caused this so into the pve front awakening mystic was doing better than succession mystic she was above the 50 percentile in terms of performance ever since the 10 percent special attack damage buffs came through we've kind of figured out that awakening mystic did not get really all the potential buffs from these 10 percent special attack damage increases so what you would see is that the dragon effects the summons they don't do very well with special attacks in fact some people say that they don't even scale with special attacks i can't confirm this for myself so keep that with a grain of salt but still so what we're seeing here for awakening mystic is pearl abyss noticing that awakening mystic really got the short end of the stick and essentially they gave her a little bit of a buff onto her most important abilities essentially really giving her the burst back in a sense because right now succession is more bursty than awakening it's more dps than awakening and usually it used to be that succession is the dps front while awakening was the burst front with that being said let's go over these one by one and i'm going to talk about why all of these abilities are getting changed etc etc so dragon strike is one of the first abilities that has changed dragon strike is pretty much our buffer ability you kind of click dragon strike you get a lot of the buffs over here and you kind of start your rotation from there it has a six second cooldown very low cooldown for such an ability with how much of an impact it has for awakening mystic and the important part about is that it got a little bit of a stamina reduction but i never found stamina being an issue in awakening mystic no matter where i farmed into the pv scene into the pvp scene perhaps it is but who plays awakening mystic into the pvp scene you know what i'm saying but anyways guys just the dragon strike change almost irrelevant at least in my eyes what really makes this important is the follow-up change to raging wind raging wind is one of the abilities that 90 percent of the mystics into the awakening however of us are left are really just locking this ability a lot of that comes from the fact that raging wind does not really pair well with most of our abilities and it's more or less um, an attempt to kind of give the ability a purpose because the ability of raging wind that is is absolutely purposeless it's literally just a fail people prefer to skip that ability unless they're farming in specific spots like if you're farming some low mid game types of spots this is kind of the only place where you would like to have raging wind so right now from 13 seconds they're reducing the cooldown to six which means that we will now be able to use dragon strike and raging wind every single time we used to lock raging wind because dragon strike was just more of an impactful ability it changed it chained better into other burst abilities that we have such as spenders and right now we can use these in consecutive fashion all the time so essentially they're kind of trying to give purpose to raging wind which is kind of cool the next one is the hurricane swift which got 15 percent damage increase and the dbd buff removed also it got 5 percent apparently it got 5 percent damage increase into the pvp scene so overall it's not really that much of an improvement like hurricane sweep is really a filler ability it's a spammy ability but overall you would see hurricane sweep be used only in one purpose from the entirety of the mystic rotation is and that is to really proc wave orb so once you press your s key and the f you're going to do a quick sweep and you can change that through for wave orb and this is kind of the only reason to go hurricane sweep nowadays apparently we will see somewhat of a you know hurricane sweep will be given more importance if i could say so myself in terms of just a 15 percent damage increase we might actually get to see this be used throughout its entirety rather than just be really cut out short and just used so we'll see how this goes we'll see how the damage increase will go onto the live if something has changed or not but overall hurricane sweep good change so the dp debuff got removed it has a dp debuff on it but you shouldn't really worry too much about it because the dpd buff is just over um the first initial hit it's just for the cooldown and in general rising dragon really takes care of the debuffing and speaking of 
generators with Rising Dragon, Seaburial. This is the most important buff of the entire kit for Awakening Mystic. Seaburial did not get almost any change, but I think 3 accuracy, was it 3 accuracy? Yeah. 3 accuracy increase and it got a 10 seconds DP plus 15 buff added, which is great for PvP. This is absolutely fantastic for PvP. But overall, guys, best thing about Seaburial is just these a few accuracy percentages that we got at the end. So let me tell you something about the Flow Seaburial, which is the next ability that got buffed it got 50 percent damage increase which is fantastic it is absolutely great and i can't even begin to explain how great this is i can talk about this for 15 minutes straight but i'm gonna keep it short the way inherit flows work in this game is that they're going to take the base of sea burials accuracy multiply it over the hits and then the flow is going to use that with its accuracy on top of this so what we see is right now this is going to inherit like 12 percent or more accuracy is going to get over the ability so this means that this is a great change into the pvp front because it's going to be easier to manage the evasion targets and also the 50 percent damage in pve buff and pvp it's still there so it's like there is no reduction of the ability so this is one of the major changes in terms of the sea burial we don't care about the base of the spell we care always about the flows because the flows are what solidify the abilities moving towards the rising dragon so rising dragon just got a quick 35 percent increase into the damage with a five percent accuracy on it so rising dragon is really what we start with it's like always like that you just do a dragon shatter if you don't have your spirit shards, you're just going to shift space, get them, and just rise and dragon. Of course, we're, we just proc to 100%, but that doesn't matter. It's still how you always start your rotation. So rising dragon getting this change is very good. We don't want to buff other abilities to kind of mess up with the already established rotation of mystics, the already established priority. And in that regard, just rising dragon buffs 35%. They're more than welcome. They're always necessary. And the accuracy rate from 10 to 15%, as always, is very, very good. This also applies into the PvP front, so it feels like Awakening Mystic will now have a little bit of an easier time against evasion targets. Uh, onto the title burst and rapid stream, it got 14 and 28% damage increase. This is our shift LMB, shift RMB. Um, damage abilities. One of the issues with these is that you never use use them to their fullest. You kind of always do two one hit of, of rapid stream and then you finish with the rest of the hits of the title burst. So it's always th these abilities are always shortened and I believe that with these changes now you don't want to shorten them. In fact you want to kind of procrastinate the entirety of the rotation for the sakes of really kind of pulling more DPS out of it. At least from reading these it kind of feels like Awakening Mystic will take more of a DPS approach with some sort of a delayed burst but once the burst is there it will be definitely noticeable and of course last but not least 15% damage onto the wave orb which is pretty much one of it's our tier 3 add-on I'm not really sure how exactly this will integrate, but overall, Wave Orb getting any sorts of buffs, it's more than welcome. So, in general, these are the buffs. I'm very happy to see Awakening Mystic buffs, but of course, I really have to rant a bit about this, because Awakening Mystic did not need any of this. It needed an entire overhaul, it needed an entire redesign, but of course, we can't expect PA to comply with just a couple of people saying that this doesn't work when it clearly doesn't. It's more or less... I believe what Pearl Abyss will do is they're going to buff us right now a little bit. They're then going to just do a little bit, a few more changes over to the Awakening Kit and kind of try to solidify its current design and make it work. Because this isn't working in PvP at all. This isn't working in PvE at all. And seeing, you know, a class that doesn't work be buffed for the sakes of performance instead of the design being good and the design carrying out the performance is kind of... It's kind of counterintuitive, isn't it? And that's kind of the narrative that Pearl Abyss have taken over the past few years. It's always been, if the class has poor design, just buff it so it works, at least onto the silver per hour front. And speaking onto the silver per hour front, it's, it's really kind of the... I would say the decay of Black Desert Online. People aren't looking at the class for their design, and if the design is good, people care only about what they make in terms of hour. If they make a billion an hour, it doesn't. They, they wouldn't care if the class is well designed or not. They just care about the silver an hour, and I think this is like the plague of the BDO mind. But still, nonetheless, guys, Awakening Mystic got buffed. I hope I earned your subscription by the end of this video, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Take care.